Oh, this, this can't go wrong. <laughs> have, have you got the hill got already, or? Yeah, he was getting the hill. <laughs> he he was backing you up over there. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Like, come in. Well, you're just trying to fold his foot in half. Yeah. Oh, it's popping foot. Well, he deals exposed. That's a shit. Uh, geez, trade. that's I would don't think that's a good idea. But anyway, you can try that. Trade. Even even, even Curtis, Curtis the connoisseur of shit moves. <laughs> this is better than a straight foot lock. <laughs> it's just a steering wheel toe hold, right? Yeah. I think if I ankle track, like, well, not ankle track, but like track my knee over my foot, you can't do it. To, if I felt you doing that, I would just cover my foot with my knee. It's still in a developmental stage. Only just in Well, we've just been less than a minute ago. It's been completely ruined now. You put it out quicker than the Pfizer vaccine. One more time. Start your sentence again. What's the little baby going? He's trying to start his sentence. He's, he's back. I did a muck. Anyway, I did a muck from over Ethan, and I ended up hold, in, uh, hold. in Body Lock, and I had a scoop on his leg. Harris. Is this a question, or you just want to tell us? Yeah, yeah, just want to. He's going to say, and it was I super sick. He just wants to know. I tried it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried 25 Is this minutes. where he ended up in side controlling? Yeah. I mean, it was a very intricate position with some movement there. Yeah. He basically turned himself inside yeah. out. Yeah, but like. You're saying, how do you make, make it sure work? Right I think you have to be over the far leg. I don't think the knee, the knee, knee leg works enough. You, get swim, you have to swim between his legs okay. to make that work. So go in the position. Can you come in front of the camera? We can't do that today. No, just make sure it's out of frame. Crumpe, is that on? Yeah. yeah. Can you move it backwards? Did you ever watch a British show called White Gold? Oh, it's so good. Has anyone watched White Gold? No. Fucking hell, what's wrong with you people? What do you guys watch this YouTube, like kids shows on YouTube or something? Gamers, skibbity toilet, <laughs> skibbity toilet. Oh, some stupid thing the kids are into. We just ended up here with a body. You know, skibbity toilet. Yeah, it's not me and my son have played it for hours. <laughs> I'm going home to play it now. I'm having trouble salvaging top position from here. Yeah, against the body lock, it is difficult because he's behind your elbows. I think Jesus I may even had a grip on his leg like this with the nature of the position. <laughs> but how would you scrap off the top position? I feel like he's behind my elbows. He's behind your elbows. You you can't turn in. So so that he, what to turn in, what do you have I'm I'm answering your question for you. The supper is annoying. Oh, I'm annoying you. He is a I'm trying to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> So far, we have zero paying customers. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> so far, we have zero paying customers. So watch fucking him fart into his head and put it in his mouth. <laughs> God, That'll get some it. fucking paying customers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it looks like my Instagram sort of for tomorrow. I think less and press more involved have a lot of content to put on. Well, he's already ripping my shit. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Anyway, you're saying I got to. So let's inside. think about this. Let's think about this. No, I don't mind, but you should. Did he write in the description? I didn't look in his description. Did he write in the description? No credit. No, I mean like, oh, don't make all the content out of other people's videos. Oh, don't. Okay, so Dave, what you need to do here, if you want to be able to get on top of him, you need to swing your right elbow around his head in a headlock fashion. Now you can get on top. Yeah. You need to either do this or you have to re-turtle and you can, that's the, literally the only way that you can actually turn back into him is to headlock escape. So just treat it like he was on your back already and it's a headlock escape. That's what I would do. So that's why I was saying to Ethan, did you remember what I said to Ethan in that situation? I said, put your head next to his head. Did you listen to that? You did. But it makes sense, doesn't it? We ended up in like a silly different position. I don't know how his leg was. He ended up inside out and then he came back over the top and ended up in a body lock and side control. He did some crazy shit. But um, he, did you watch the Wagner and Isaac match that I said? That was your homework. Yeah. I've watched it. What about it? <laughs> <laughs> what about how every bit of promo he does is you getting thrown by him? <laughs> Pretty funny. <Cunt. laughs> I'll send that to Isaac. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's Thank Curtis. You, Isaac.
I'm looking at doing gang signs. He's like, mm. um, so here's what I think. I think if you want to hit that makikomi from there, reach to the outside. And I think instead of always makikomi in, head post and cartwheel over. That's what Tackett does. I actually asked Tackett about this when we were there. Yeah, he said he made it up. Yeah, he basically just makes his shit up. <laughs> he like, what did you do? He's like, uh -huh. Don't. Oh, oh, sorry, Your Honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I did that to him today. I go push him in and make the make me, which is what we're all gonna do. Yeah. Just or if you're gonna do, if you're gonna do the inside leg, you've got to go between his legs and swim out the back door and hit like a funk roll. Mm. But you're swimming one arm inside and then make your comb in, and then it's just getting a bit. That's what I think. Yeah. I'm not like a thousand percent sure on it. Yeah. This is really like a folk position. folk style sort of question. Yeah. And then so last question. I'm in real gully lock. If you hit a Granby, I defend the Granby by. Not a Granby Victor draw, but put my shoelaces on the inside, but we still end up in like a crab right type position. Mm -hmm. We just grab it from top position. Go so crab X and go leg drag, and you should finish inside control of the body lock. Okay. That's what I do. Go crab X. Yep. Head over the far shoulder, keep the chest down. That's what I think is the play here. Because he's going to turn in, he's not just going to lay there like he was. If he lays there and you can start to expose the back, great. I tried going uh, twister hook and going. Um, and he just laid on the hook? Yeah, he just picked the rev up and put me in like the ashes. But I think not, this might be safe here. Yeah, I think this is the play. Because what's he going to do from here? Yeah. What's he going to do? Well, turn away and turtle. He's going to turtle, yeah. <laughs> it's the best play. <laughs> Do you and Rob even have a guard? I know Rob's got a guard, but you should see as soon as he gets, like that guard gets a sniff of a pass, he just whips in a turtle. <laughs> he whips in a turtle. Good. Turtle guard's one of the best guards. Yeah, but have like you been teaching all these guys stuff while I've been away? They've probably watched me. Yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 What's that? Got Rob's got, yeah, Rob's got a turtle. No, he doesn't Granby, he um, inverts. Yeah, he's like a skinny Molina, Asian Molina. He goes turtle, then he goes inverts back to guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's turtle two guard. Oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry, Your Highness. <laughs> All right, we got any other questions? Yes, Crumpe. Crumpe. Is he French now? French version. Do you guys realise you ask such bad questions that everyone else just leaves? <laughs> yeah. He just keeps going. <laughs> That's good, he doesn't care. I respect it. Yep. Yeah. I respect okay, it. yep. They just, yep. just emptying my legs here. Excuse me? Oh, okay. I thought you were saying he's going over back. So you're going over back? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, how's he entering your legs? Butterfly half. Oh, like, he actually jazz me from hips sometimes. The fuck? What? As in more than once? Well, show me how you do it then. What are you doing on bottom? Oh, Careful. Really? You should kill yourself. Olivia's really complaining about Olivia her. literally just ran away. That's how bad you... You just made a girl run away. <laughs> Let's see if we can solve this problem. So you're camping. Anytime he scoops the leg, what you do is you take this and you cross it over your other leg. So right now he doesn't have a high knee shield anymore. He's just given up the high knee shield, so I'm going to go near side underhook. I'm going to start to smash him. Okay. okay, if he keeps his knee shield and he takes a scoop, all I do is I just bring my ankles and I cross them like this. And now I start to go over back. Oh, cool. So you were asking, you were already in an over back, you were here in the over back, and he goes, to, he goes into a scoop like this. Yeah. Is that how you're doing it? No. Okay, so if this is happening, yeah. you go back. All we're going to do is cross our ankles. I mean, he's letting me out of the half guard at this stage. I assume you're keeping your half guard, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, go for it. I'm just going to cross my ankles or I'm going to go to a near side underhook. So anytime that someone takes a scoop on me, near side underhook kills it. And then I just start to walk everything back down towards the half guard. Because when he locks his uh, scorpion in, what happens to his high knee shield? Or his low knee shield? What happens to it? It goes away. It's no longer a knee shield. It's a half guard. So you can now crash him 
but you've got to be careful because he's got a scoop between your legs. You don't want to crash and get put overhead. So what we do is we either save ourselves by crossing our ankles, which at this stage I can't, so I go near side underhook. And from here I just walk everything down. Now I just go through clearing this, and then I just punish him because now he's giving me... Oh, now he gets fucking here. <laughs> Stop doing shit jiu -jitsu. He can't. <laughs> no, no, no. He goes you appreciate that. Yeah, he goes scorpion, yeah. he lets you clear it, and then he throws a buggy up. He tried, like, he tried several times to buggy me from up, like chest and chest. You're too skinny. Yeah, you don't have the muscle. Never. You never. Um, what are you looking for for a smooth slide ashy entry in terms of their foot position? Is it lead leg that you have to have, or is it? Um, you can go either way. But um, square stance is a general rule. What's the combination that you want matching that to the upper body? So obviously no down blocking hands. I would say this. So if we if we use exactly what Gordon did against um, Sosa. Sosa, yeah, is like this collar tie, wrist control. He looked for a square stance like this, and then he pulled in from here. So he slid in and he pulled this over the other head. So he slid. And he pulled this over the other shoulder so he could immediately go to a rig. Mm -hmm. So I'm basically just pulling him over my shoulder at a 45 to make him lean forward and expose. But in your match, he did it like this. In your match, he did this. So he did it off the overhook, but it's, it's much of a much less. Like if it's going to work against an underhook, well, the reason it works is because they don't, they just don't anticipate. They don't anticipate, yeah. Now, if I tried to just go into it from the open, it's hard. So I would say, like, the more connected we are, the less anticipation he probably has of that specific move. He's worried about your throwing. Yeah, offensive. yeah. Some type of stance. I don't know what your head's doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But if, yeah, if he was in a very staggered stance, it's hard to hit. A bit more staggered, like one leg forward, one leg back. Yeah, I might need to circle myself or square him up. Any other questions? Yes, Damo. Um, attacking a straight footlock with a butterfly, Ashy, and a hip post. I'm getting the hip post clear and then it's all to go in pear shape. So, that's how we look here. I did it to you a few times the other night, didn't I? Cool. Probably. Um, if you find it's getting cleared, just go past the hip on it and lay over on the side and back heel. So when he tries to clear this, it, it's it's hard. Like yep. there's a fair bit of time for you to start to go into breaking from here. Yeah. And they can't attack that foot. Nah, nah, not really. Not with enough time anyway. No, but you can go hip post. But if you're going to hip post, you're going to stomp all your weight down on top of it. So it should be like hard for him to easily clear out. It'll clear out when you just got your foot yeah, posted on there. there yeah. But like my, what I picture is, I'm trying to pin his hip on the mat. So I stomp my weight down on it. You feel what I'm doing to you there? So now while he tries to like clear that out, by the time he's done that, I'm kind of breaking him. Mm -hmm. But if I want to take that away, I can do this. Yeah, okay. Make sense? Cool. Can I do one more set question from basically the same position? Ah, but the opposite. No, no, no. It's just like, um, when you have that, basically the, the L key with the body fly ashi, um, but the, the, the ankle is not split down. It's like, it's that, a read, not a read, but uh, under IBJJF point of view, would be that considered legal or not legal? I don't know all because they change these rules all the time. I so I don't, I don't have a good answer for you, Rob. Uh, yeah. You know the gay rules, don't you? Uh, I'm a JJF. Yeah. How did you know? Could you come and answer a question for the Golami? Golami. Is he on a knee or seated? Yeah. Yeah. But in both situations, actually, not the, it doesn't matter really too much. Like this, the angle is in, like it's not out as an aoki, but I'm basically ripping his knee with my butterfly hook. Not ripping, but like bending it. Yeah, exactly like this. Okay. Would and this be considered legal or no legal? So I'm just at what belt? Like blue, purple belt. Not, not brown, black belt. Okay. Well, if the referee sees you're actively trying to bend the knee and the opponent feels knee pressure, it's kind of subjective. Like. If he starts wincing with his face and like pointing to his knee, and <laughs> the referee can see that the butterfly hook is going into it, then that would be. It's a great rule set, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah. So it's that, that's the same explanation for the electric chair. Electric chair? Mm. Uh, yeah, like if you're trying to rip yeah. their knee apart. Yeah. If they've got some knee pressure, it's like ridiculous. Yep. Okay. Otherwise, it's fine. Yeah, that's yeah, ridiculous. So it's very, very gay on. Subjective. Yeah, no, rule sets are meant to be subjective. Yeah, that's right. <laughs>